Hi, this is Lori Whitlock, and I wanted to show you how to put together this new file that I have called a large store flat box. You'll find the silhouette files at the Silhouette Online Store, and you'll find the SVG files for other cutting machines at my SVG shop at LoriWhitlock.com. So this is um, a large box that fits on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. As you can see, um, it's all of it's right there for you. And all of the red pieces are the embellishment panels and I've gone ahead and adhered those to the correct panels. So you have all these rectangles, you have this curved piece and these smaller rectangles on the side. These little corner pieces here are free of graphics. So let's just go ahead and flip this over. And you can see that you need to score or fold on the score marks at the cor rounded corner and at the re first rectangle and then the next rectangle and then the next rectangle. So go ahead and fold all of those. Then you're gonna fold these two side panels towards the inside of the box. The little flaps here are go toward the insides as well. And then you'll notice in these corners, there's these little triangles. You're gonna need to fold those so that they um, allow the sides to draw up and fold towards the inside of the box. So on those angles, just pinch those and fold those in. Okay, once you have everything um, folded on the score marks, we're ready to assemble this. Now, these two side panels here, you'll notice that this little triangle right here is where we're going to put our glue, the two outermost triangles on each side. So those, positions where my fingers are will be glued down. These other triangles will be left free so that our box can actually open up. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue on those panels. And once you get it to this position, you can actually store your box flat in the cupboard or in a drawer and keep them ready to go for different occasions, gift giving occasions. So. I'm just putting a little glue in those corners and I'm just going to fold my box right over. So like I mentioned, this is a good place to leave the box if you're going to store it. You could even fold that flap over and just make a little stack of boxes and keep them for future use. Once those corners dry, you can see how easy it will be to put this box together. You're just going to push those sides right up and those little top flaps over. And then I've installed some Velcro here. You could use magnetic snaps or you could use, um, you know, a little glue dot or something to keep the box closed. And, and then your box is complete, just like that. And it's a nice size. It can fit money or a check inside or a small gift. It's actually quite a large box for a 12 by 12 and it's super handy. So I hope you enjoy making these. And